following all day. Three teens arrested after a CyFair ISD student said they kidnapped her and tried to have sex with her. The victim is a student at Cy Springs High School, and here are the suspects that police have in custody. They are Emmanuel Rizig, Ryan Yang, and Justin Broadway. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes joining us live with more on this. Sion? Well, Bill, investigators say that girl's kidnapping was actually captured on school surveillance video. Now her mother wants to know where were all of the adults she says were supposed to keep her daughter safe. Investigators say these three teens plotted to take a fellow student against her will so they could have sex with her. Very angry, um, disappointed, uh, scared, um, all of those emotions in one. The victim's mother spoke to Channel 2 by phone and said her daughter was leaving the cafeteria, headed to class, when a boy she didn't know grabbed her. Pushing her out of the door. Police say school surveillance video shows the victim unsuccessfully struggling to get away from 18-year-old Justin Broadway as he pulled her down a hallway and out of an exit door. He put, continued to push her to a van, and then when he couldn't get her in the van, two, uh, two other boys helped him get her in the van, and then they drove away. The teens drove two miles away to 17-year-old Ryan Jing's house in Katy, where they tried to have sex with her. She said they tried to get make advances at her, and she said no, and then one of them tried to touch her, and she kicked him in the growing area, and then she ran out of the house. The girl ran to nearby Walker Elementary School, where she called police. <laughs> Cy Springs High does have school resource officers on campus. The victim's mother wants to know how they could let this happen. Why were none of them available? None of them at the doors? I don't care what door it is. If it locks after it's shut, I don't understand why there was not a security guard in or around that area. So a lot of questions remaining tonight about safety and security here on campus and in SciFair ISD. We reached out to SciFair ISD's spokesperson with questions about that. She did not respond to any of my questions. Coming up tonight at 6, though, we're going to hear what those teenage suspects told investigators about what they say happened that day. For now, reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Sion, thank you.